The legs are growing. It's like liver king. Owed him like 12 grand. He ripped him off and robbed him. You're the one that has to put in the work. A body like this is only built by how much effort I put into it. What's up, baby? from you Ricky. Good morning. F you. <laughs> <laughs> F you. It's not my morning today. No, I'm just kidding. Every morning is your morning guys. You start your day off how you want to. If you want to start in a fucked up mood, even if somebody else pisses you off, it's all up to how you want to start your day. I don't let nobody ruin my day. Nobody. Not even Ricky when I see his ugly mug. <laughs> Phones, bro. I got three phones. <laughs> I'm about to have four phones. Give me a customer service line. Hey, this is Joey. Can I help you? Customer service line. Yeah, just for what, all the businesses. Is for, uh, this is an all around customer service number. If you have any issues, call this number. They call me. Oh, uh, yep, this is Joey. Fuck off. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I was laughing. Oh, that's why you said customer service? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You have horrible customer service. Uh, you're in my truck. Uh, my customer service is great, bro. It is good. Yeah, no, I literally answer my people. I send them back their packages and stuff that they fuck up on all the time. I mean, I make them pay for it. You got to pay for your own mistake. Mm -hmm. you know what I mean? What's up, pup? You back again, What's huh? up, puppy? You wiggle, wiggle. Wiggle in that tail. You're just so excited. Mm -hmm. That's your good girl. Okay. That's Keep your going. good girl. See, we're close. That's your good girl. <laughs> You're so smart. She's showing off. That's how our dogs need to be. Super happy. Super happy. Well, you're talking about country dogs. Country yeah. dogs are always happy. Yeah, City right. dogs are always pissed off. True that. Stuck in the backyard all day. My owners hate me. Hey, I mean, no, but we're talking like owners that don't spend time with their dogs and their dogs are real stupid. They don't grasp the concepts of not eating stuff. Look at that day. Hey, bro, go get me a hug. Oh yeah. There's another one I had at the house, but it just never got open, so it was still good. Yeah, that's from old boys. Oh, no, no, I'm talking about the fate, too. Well, I'm talking about that pastor. Yeah, fuck that guy. Yeah, that guy's out of control. He was a church pastor. Yeah. Tried to screw us over on money. Remember that? Mm -hmm. Oh, you did? Did you I record? Was there. Yeah. You got off in his ass, too, for a little bit. I did, right? Yeah. Don't play, dog. I got my own pastor, homie. So I'll check your ass, pastor. <laughs> I got my own pastor. Hey, my, me and my pastor keep it real, you know? My pastor would never try to get over on somebody. But for some reason, this pastor thought that since he was a pastor, he could do that. Stax wasn't having it. What's wrong with it? It's not going with the sensor or what? Let me give you a little shade. No, no, I need you out of the way of the... No, nah, this you. is the sensor right here, right? Yeah, you're yeah. Sure it's, very, it's got a big ray though. Just careful. A big ray. Let's see. What you got, mama? What is that? Is that steak? Yeah. You got in the trash, huh? You got the trash. Ooh, look, those are like organs. What you got? Like human? No, I'm just kidding. The dog got in front of it. Yeah, that's good. Mega minutes. Because the batteries were completely dead, right? Yeah. It's super, uh... So, I read on everything, again, and it states in the thing that the solar panel cannot charge them below a certain rate. So the solar panel is only designed to maintain the current charge. Yeah, so it has to have a full charge to start with yes. if you want us to be able to work with the solar panel. Then from there on out. It should be good to be. Yeah, exactly. Today, what do you think about it, bro? Like, this is in line with that post. Yeah, I wouldn't either. I'll pull off like you say, because that way, if they have like a truck or a rig or something that comes in here, it can still make that right here. Or a little bit more in, I think. Like this. You just want to be able to pull it forward. And then they got to pull in and pull back out. What's that? Like if they turn in, they got to turn their wheel back out to the right to go in. You know what I mean? Because they're kind of curved. You want to come out like, just a hair. So that way they can just keep going straight in so they don't have to like turn in and turn back out. You're the boss. 
He's like, man, I didn't want it there on that stretch set. Oh, easy, baby. Since it's a keypad, we only need to go about a foot. We need no two foot keypad. Too easy. Been doing this shit for 21 years or more. Really more. See, how old was I when I started digging holes? Probably like 10 using some diggers and rock bars. My dad's were heavy as hell, too. Key stroke. Key stroke. Key stone. That's not a commercial or advertisement. Remember then they had those commercials where they tried to make Keystone like a superhero? Ooh, Keith Stone. Like his name was Keith yeah. Stone, but they said, ooh, Keith Stone. Like, it was Keystone. Like, as if the dude was a complete douche, but they had pretend like he was cool. Yeah. yeah you know, yeah. like, like he almost like uh, Rex Quando, where everyone says I sound like that guy. Yeah. He's like, give me three weeks. You want a roundhouse in these babies? Forget about it. He's all, I get to go home to Wanda, or whatever her name was. Do you think anybody thinks I'm a failure because I go home to Starla at night? But he's all, shows a picture of her, okay. and it's like this super roided out chick, like, god dang. That whole movie made no sense. I feel like a lot of movies came out like Napoleon Dynamite at that time, like that movie, a bunch of Will Ferrell movies were just like dumb humor. All that was like the dumbest humor. Anchorman was like my borderline of where it stopped. Like, bro, this is getting too far. Putting movies out every single month, same dumb bullshit. You remember Grown Ups? Same concept. Adam Sandler, Chris Rock, all the same actors from all the movies, the Grown Ups. They came out with like three of them, way too quick, slash, all the same, like, it's like at this point, it wasn't even realistically, like you were literally, I, I could feel that I was watching them on the set. Like I felt like I was one with the movie in the set at this point, because yeah. I already knew the jokes they were gonna say, I already knew the humor, I already knew it. I was like, ah, this just isn't a funny movie anymore. Now I feel like I'm in the on set with them, watching them while they film. Back in the day, before I feel like everything got so clear, crystal clear and so whatever, it felt more real as a movie. Now it just feels like real as in real, like, ah, it's just acting now. Like, I like The Rock's movies, and he plays all different types of people. You know what I mean? He plays all different types of... I even like his kid shit, the Jumanji. And those are all, you know what I mean? What you got? I'm ready to set, baby. Set it or what? Yeah. Where's that water at? Use your stretch arms for me and give me that shovel. Okay. I'm gonna, uh... I gotta do anything. Just need that shovel. out the fucking wheelbarrow and it'll take them fucking 20 minutes <laughs> takes me two that's why it sucks to hire guys nobody loves your company as much as you do you know what i'm saying and they wonder why they're not successful they wonder why they keep losing their jobs keep getting fired you don't show up to work you still want to hold down a job but you don't want to show up weird See the same thing like when you talk about your teeth i'm like yeah your teeth are perfect and without them all i've never seen you without the gold teeth so. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> i used to have my two buck teeth used to i felt well to me uh my girl says you can never tell or whatever but uh -huh. i felt like they were too in like inverted all my other teeth were okay. straight my bottom teeth were not straight they're a little crooked not bad i had good teeth uh -huh. just the two front teeth i felt like were too kind of in both in yeah. And probably because my wisdom teeth were pressing up against them so hard that it was causing them to bend in. Uh, other people's get bent out. It just depends on how your body wants to go, you know? Mm -hmm. But then when I made all that room and got all my teeth, we made them the right size, obviously, to fit in straight. But the more and more I keep thinking about it, I think about what if I got, you know, got rid of the hood look and got rid of the golds and, you know, got an all white veneers or something. You know what I'm saying? weird for the first, like, week or two for me. I know. I would feel weird. Yeah. Now I'm so used to the golds. Drop a comment if you want them to go veneers. Uh, veneers, and I'm gonna get that lip surgery, bro. Get the get my scar tissue cut off at the top of the lip. 
Well, it had this pearly white smile, start doing ads for... <laughs> They can only shoot, well you couldn't even shoot above the neck because I'm all face tatted now and my dome piece. Let's go. I'm about to have the back of my head all tatted. I'm about to have my neck done. Oh yeah. The, oh wait. That's how you got my hand. Oh, uh, my toes. Fuck that dude. Oh, a foot tattoo? Oh man, Mondo, he got his whole foot. Yep. Foot's tripping. Ah. He getting all hit up now. Yeah, he is. I would too. Well, no, I wouldn't. He's but. a tattoo artist, so yeah. I mean. Not that I have any excuse either, I'm all hit up. But he's got his whole like stomach and shit, I got my whole back, my chest. He ain't got nothing on his back, I don't think yet. Not yet. Dude, he's got his arms he's working on, I seen his other arm, he was hitting it up. His leg he's hitting up. Yeah, yeah. Good work too. Mm -hmm. Is he gonna be in a truck or a car? Car. Well, that's yeah. all he owns, his cars? Yeah. Like right there. Okay. Shavings. It's in it wasn't even that they were metal, it's hotter than shit. Welcome to America, my home, sweet. How's it go? How's it go? No, no, I was making that up actually. <laughs> Man, I got the slow down and stop. Let's go. I programmed all that. Clear. We're going to, to slow down to stop like that. And... See that, folks? Come on. Do you see that? All right, hold on. I just got home. Trying to get into my gate. Uh, if I was getting chased by somebody, it wouldn't be good. But we're not. We're peacefully pulling up to our home. La, 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 la. All right, let's get the hell out of here. Clean, clean, clear, and under control. Yeah, this type of shit. Christmas comes early for stacks this year. There's a lot of stuff in there. Yeah. See how the bumper's all like in there though? I'm kind of like, I don't like shit around it. You know what I mean? Because it could be pressing down on the molding or something. Move mm -hmm. shit for the door, like. I'm talking like everything for the, when you open the doors, brand new. Can you restore black trim paint? Oh, this is the insulation for the doors. Yeah, exhaust tip now. <laughs> this is exhaust tip. Yeah. Here's the molding pieces. See, there's another like, look, look at the molding already. See it? Mm -hmm. It's already like not, it needs to be laid flat. So that way it lays itself on the door, you know? Mm -hmm. So I'm worried about this stuff in here. I don't really have too many moldings in there. No, this is just one bumper, right? No, just front. The front, yeah, because the rear's coming. What else is in there? Can you grab that? See? Right. Front door, belt, molding, mirror cover. And you guys see on that little mirror? Okay. Yeah, it goes like right by the... I don't even know if I need this. This is the hood piece. See, this is all bent too, you see it? Yeah. It's like the hood ain't bent like that. <laughs> Here's some strikers right here. Here's some door pins. Let's go with that one. Okay. What's this? Okay. You said that's just like this? Oh no, these are the bezels. Where's the other door handle? Is this going to come with the other fucking package? Or Where's this? Oh, these are the, the buttons. Bumper, yeah. That's what you're looking for? No, it's the button that gave me. Oh, that goes with that. Okay, yeah, yeah. We got two self tappers, two machine thread screws. Boy, you got shit low. I got a lot of stuff. Body what are those parts? for? Probably for those. Like kick panels? Yeah. Uh, those haven't even came yet. Unless they're in one of these. Well, first, figure out where the ship goes. Yeah. That's right. what I mean, honestly. I'm, I'm going to go. I, honestly, yeah. I want to help them, though. It, it, for, fun, yeah. for my Mustang, yeah. But at the same time, I'm like, hold up. I'm going to have to give this guy to. These are the door harness mounts. This is really yeah. something. The bumper and all that goes with the the painter. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, this is all us, but you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't mind doing this. This is easy shit. Remove this something, put the new one, you know what I mean? Actually, wait, you have to run the wires all the way back through. So you unhook them on the door? Like when you but we have to do them. that anyway, yeah. It's, there's, I mean, that shit's simple wire. Right? Not like you have... No, that's what I'm saying. We have to do it anyway, so you might as well just pull it through and yeah. run a new grommet. This is for the doors. 
four keys sharper than a Chevy. I learned that back in the day. Is that another key panel? No. This is oh, that's my center console. Cup holder panel with parking brake blue. Yeah, I knew it. Ricky's in the back seat of this thing. Sure. Yeah. Shit, Ricky's big <laughs> ass take up the whole back seat of that car. Good laying down. Stretch can't even sit in the back seat unless we have the top down. Unless we have the top straight down. What is this? It's two or something in here. Oh, yeah, I can reuse this. So if y'all get this black thing in the mail, it's because I reused it. Special. Look at this. Special. Oh, this has got his damn uh, auto Special. parts sticker on that still. Oh, these are the door handles. All blacked out door handles. What the hell? I just had a door handle. No, those are the interior door handles. Oh, those are exterior. Exterior. Oh. I'm not going old, bro. I'm going brand spanking new. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. I should have known. It says it's a DR. HD. You know exactly what that means. DRHD HD ADR. Uh, these are the ones I'm worried about. Because they're so fucking heavy, they'll do damage. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. All the flat shit. As long as I lay it down in there flat, I'll be good. These are the door moldings. These are very important to lay flat. We got five, six, let's get six. We got one in the truck, get five. Too far! Whoa! Come on, do it Do it for the tube. I was actually kind of like wondering if it was going to seriously flip because I felt it like starting to go and I was like, oh shit! <laughs> Watch your head. Yeah, you're good. Brand new, too, dog, all wet. Yeah, right? For real, let him dry out a little. <laughs> Lay them all flat in the truck. Four, what did I say, six? But I have one already in my truck. I want to grab two by fours now too, might as well, no? We just grab three tens just in case. Three tens and bring uh, eights, eights and tens, just buy three over or whatever. You are two over, you have one in the truck. How's that one in the truck? Oh, I'm here with this. That'll just be an extra one, straggler. So what do we got, eight? Put all over there. I'll put it down here. But I don't know if we're going to be using all those. Oh, we got eight. No, yeah, we got eight, so I think we should be fine. If anything, one more, but I think we're going to be fine. I don't think. Yeah. And then the blue tag ones are outside, but they said they were covered up. Yeah, we can do it. Thank you. 21, 21 eights. Oh shit, my wallet. Thanksgiving, I sent you home with like almost a whole turkey. Well, I ate that shit the next day, dude. <laughs> yeah, he even had it all off the bone. Uh, yeah, I was sitting there, I fucking pulled it apart, put it in a nice uh, Ziploc. And... Yeah, he had like three turkeys in his house. <laughs> well, what you gonna do with all those? You can't eat all that stretch. Don't let it go to waste. That's awesome. I'm right here. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. That little bitch ass thing could hurt like a mother if I had to cut my hand open. Look at that. That little knife too is not the sharpest. Now it's got. I'm gonna fold that. No blood really on there. Just don't, don't eat with it. Well, I like that though. Huh. That it uh, has a little safety to close yeah. it. On that, you ain't, I never seen that. Yeah, for real. That's the updated. I think the last time I had a was like 96. Like 10 years old. So you can access all this shit without having to open the fucking... Uh, yeah, that's old school. Because you have to have... Open, open everything up. Yeah, yeah, yeah but that, that, that's kind of what it was all about, though. Then you can fucking... It's still fucking... Yeah, you gotta stab him the other way. All right, bet. That's it, homie. I'm gonna haul ass. We got everything we need for tomorrow, at least, to get started. And we'll just call around and ask for pickets. All right, I'll see you a little bit. All right, y'all. Did you even hear that Mustang? Yeah, Rivers exhaust. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. you should have seen I heard it. It was I awful. Terrible. It was a V6. It's a weed eater. 
I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure I got bro, the sound. Yeah, yeah. I couldn't really hear it because I was bumping, and but I just heard somebody. Went, for like the first and then I looked over and I saw a Honda, and I was like, it couldn't have been that. No, his boy, even his boy next to him started laughing. Like, Gee, yeah, why, did you, why did you, why did you do, do that? that? Let's go. Got that let's go, baby. No excuses, no breaks. Just like the fucking hat says, baby. We work all day, we train, we go home, we act like good fathers, and we go to sleep, and we repeat. Let's go. Hey, I left my Versace's at Lowe's. Nah, check it out, it was by the concrete, like this, boom. This was probably about like three o'clock, maybe a little bit after I talk to you. Three o'clock, go home, I change, do everything. Oh shit, where's my shades at? So I haul ass to Lowe's and they're sitting right there on the, still posted up. I think they knew that I was Joey Stacks and Shades. Yo, so I just found out from one of my followers uh, that Noe went on its live like a week or two ago or something. And he said that big boy owed him like 12 grand. And he ripped him off and robbed him, didn't pay him. That's crazy, right? Y'all don't see this? I mean, y'all see this, my people see this. But I've been getting more and more messages. It's, it's crazy. And I almost want to screenshot it and show everybody, but everybody already knows. So it's no sense of me even like, you know what I mean? But they're all like, man, it took me so long. Some dude's like, I don't want to blow up your DMs, but look at this trash ass merch I've been buying for years. And he sent me like 15 pictures of, he goes, I got so much more of this bullshit that I bought. All the, and then he takes the last picture. It's a Stacks Army shirt. He's like, man, this is the last. He goes, I'm never buying another brand. He's like, I can't believe I believe those fake money, all this shit, you know? And I'm like, everything I said, bro, it's just all coming more, more and more true to everybody. to keep it a little bit inside grip, nothing crazy. I don't like to go too far inside, it's bad on your elbows and shit. But uh, you gotta have that nice form. Doesn't matter the weight, guys. Isolate the muscle, pump that shit out, blood to the muscle, that's how you grow. motherfucker work along with balancing your tea guy you got to balance your testosterone to grow you can work out all day every day and get zero results because you got low tea guys and if you just don't want to go get your blood work and you want to stay working out and not getting results then don't get the link that's in the caption but I put the link in the caption so you guys can get your levels checked See where your blood's at, see where your testosterone's at, so you're not spinning your fucking wheels. Those things suck too. The people, I, I, I don't lie to the people. Nah, I've been doing them. Don't use the big to make people feel. The legs are growing. You're like Liver King. Oh yeah, they're that, gonna blast you. They're gonna be like, I thought big guy liked them. They're gonna catch you one day like, hey legs. You said you loved them. Nah, look, I, I don't say I like it. I got it. I'm starting, starting to like it more. Look, I've been working out for 21 years. No one likes legs. <laughs> no one. Isolation, people. Nobody 
gets a pump like Joey Stacks gets a pump, baby. That's what's up. I'm here to take all the pump from everybody. Everywhere I'm at, you better stand clear of Joey Stacks or I'm gonna steal your fucking pump, baby. Mr. Steal Your Pump, Tom. What's up, baby? the muscle connection. Control the weight. Don't let the weight control you, baby. Control this world. Don't let the world control you, baby. The weight is the world. Control that shit. You counting? I ain't counting that shit. Just go until that shit hurts. You do that shit four or five times, then tell me how your chest feels, you know what I'm saying? But you gotta make sure that you're not just going through the motions. You wanna make sure you're pushing yourself every single set. And if you got five more than you did the time before that, do that shit. Don't let make somebody tell you to do it. You only cheat yourself. Nobody else gives a shit. You're the one that has to put in the work. A body like this is only built by how much effort I put into it. You know what I'm saying? Your buddies that don't show up, who gives a fuck? People don't like your schedule, who gives a fuck? If this is what you want to achieve, then guess what? You have to set forth all your free time and effort that you can to building this physique. And that means that every single set counts, every rep. If you're only doing 10 reps, but your body could have done 20, what the fuck you doing? You know what I'm saying? Make sure you push yourself every single set. All right, the second ago I could have ended, I think probably about 40 reps, 45 reps is what I did. But I kept, I could have just done 20. I could have just done 25, you know what I'm saying? But I pushed myself. I wanted that shit to hurt. I don't want to come do this shit again. Every workout, your muscle only grows just this little bit. You know what I'm saying? And that's if you're putting the proper building blocks, protein, complex carbohydrates, things to grow. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of people just come in, they do the range of motion, they do what they gotta do, their little four sets of this, four sets of that, and then they go home. Not only do they not feed the muscle correctly, they didn't even work the muscle out hard enough. You gotta hit that shit. Oof. 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 Yeah. Woof. Woof. Yeah. Uh. Come on. Expert level. Expert. Still making moves. Well, yeah, outside bicep. Rig. I know you see that shit coming in. Let me slow that shit down. For all you motherfuckers hating, saying I'm swinging. Look at that. What's that? Mind the muscle, baby. Rah. Ah. Ah. Fuck you. All right, so they're sneaking abs in. You know, ab monster. The ab monster. I'm trying to turn this web right into abs a, a monster. I'm trying to turn this abs, I mean this stomach into a croissant. You know what I'm saying? This web right into a croissant. Is that a croissant into a piece of fucking Italian bread. And then it's, it's making its way out the food fucking category soon. Oh, I make garlic bread. You see, it's like real hard and toasty. It used to be a muffin. Oh. It used to be a muffin top, but now it's just yeah. bread. There you go. I'm, on, I'm still on that bubble top, but. You're on that Luby's road. That that's a, that's a motherfucking Texas Roadhouse roll. Whoa, 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 hold on, don't ruin the rolls for me. <laughs> I'm over here about to eat my favorite rolls and I got Ricky's belly all in my head.
What is Luby's? This is all It's like cafeteria food. It's for like older people over there. <laughs> oh. But I love it. It's like macaroni. It's like, it's bomb though. It's like good cafe. They have like a buffet, like jellos and pies. <laughs> but it's like a cafeteria. Yeah, you said cafeteria. Know. I'm like, oh. I love cafeteria food. At school, shit, I used to fuck their little hard cardboard pizzas up. And then we had them in prison too, or like in county. When, really? I, was a, when I was a trustee, I used to smash whole. We're not talking about like, like pizzas like doom doom. I'm talking about like a four by three sheet, like a cooking sheet that would be for inmates. I'd smash that whole sheet of pizza. That's oh, a lot of food. Well, I'd eat it through my shift. Oh, okay. Like, okay I wouldn't okay. just have one time to eat it. I, I, I had like an uh, eight, ten hour shift as a trustee. Yeah. So I just cooked the whole sheet and just be in there watching TV, doing laundry for the inmates. <laughs> I'd, 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 I'd make like ten eggs with potatoes and chop up all the sausage and bacon and ham and yeah. all this. I lived like a king as a cook in there because the guards love me. Everybody loves me, but before everyone in the world loved me, guards love me. <laughs> They're the real uh, rider guys. All this, the laws that watch my back. Not really the laws, but like, when I was a trustee, the guards would be so cool with me because I would be, a, you know, obviously a good inmate. I wouldn't give them shit. Yeah. And so, like I did, sometimes I fuck a lot. I lost I'm those jobs. I fucked up because like somebody would disrespect me or something, and I go fuck off a big, a good job in the kitchen as a fucking ODR cook, like for the law. I was telling them how cool like the laws are when you like work in the kitchen, and I worked in there as an ODR cook, so I worked for the laws as their chef. Yeah. So I told Ricky, bro, my niggas was eating that. I was in there making like 10 egg omelets with sausage, bacon, all this. And I'm in there just, you don't disrespect them by trying to steal. And oh, everyone no. wants yeah. you to bring shit because your job. Like the laws don't disrespect you and search you ever because they don't want you fucking with their food. Yeah, and you're yeah. the one cooking for them. So they look out for you and you look out for them, but people don't like that. You know what I mean? Because now you're in there with the laws like this. Right. So everyone tries to ruin it for you. And you know, someone talked shit to me one time, and I just fucking straight rushed him and smashed that fool and literally stomped him and everything. And so he just got you, he just wanted to get you picked out? Oh yeah, well, I'm, nah, I don't know. You just talking oh. shit, and I just wouldn't have it that day. Yup, let's go. I ain't never here. How you been, Ross? I'm good. Good, baby. Yeah, yeah. You been all right? Yeah, I'm doing good, man. How you been? I got back in town after all that commotion and all that. How are you? I kind of shorted. Bro, I got all the way to, uh, what's up, you know? I got all the way to 199 pounds. When I was doing the boxing, I went from 230. Basically, 228. Chance, you already know. Bro, I was, I mean, you know, it was cool. I got to learn a lot of stuff. And, uh, but I feel like, I feel like, yeah, yeah, I lost my mask and also just boxing, I don't know, man. I just, I, I love bodybuilding. You know? I love, I love to be bigger and thicker. So maybe with a little bit of boxing training, right? And more of my bodybuilding, maybe I just plan on knocking somebody out in the first round. You know? Yeah. But if you didn't have a fucking job to go to, it'd be, you'd, be, of you'd course. be good to do it. And now I got like fucking yeah. four companies that I'm kind of juggling. And there ain't nobody out there really to find like, hey, you want to be dedicated work. and yeah. work every day, and they do for like the first week if you're lucky. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's hard to get a motherfucker to show up two days on consecutively yeah, yeah, on time. Oh, you think I want to go out there and fucking work? Hell nah, but it's what you got to do. You know? Are they sure about that? It's another week. Like, damn, you work four weeks straight. We're going to work another fifth week straight? Yeah, bro. You're like, no, we go 365 days if you can. My last boss yeah, was work three days out the week, and then we we're off for two weeks. Like, nah, bro, we work. Every day, homie. It's not like money or he live with his mama. Uh, no, I God, can't do I, it. I said I was going to pay you good. I didn't say that good. Yeah, I did three days and take two weeks off? Shit, I'm trying to get a job like that. Straight up. Where I can make my income. Good to see you guys. Sure. You got money. Good to see you. Good to see you, man. Good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you. looking clean today. I detailed the shit out there. Let's go. Hey, that's a wrap, guys. Just got done killing chess with the homie I. And, uh, Shit, we got a good pump today. You got a good pump? Yeah. That let's go, baby. Kicked let's in. Go. Hey, and it's not even the caffeine, guys. It's all about that focus, that mind and muscle. I'm trying to tell you. Caffeine restricts the blood flow. 
How do you get a pump with no blood flow? You don't. Everybody thinks the more caffeine you get, the better pump you're gonna get, and that's the opposite. So make sure you check out the Let's Go Baby pre-workout. If you haven't yet, go cop yours right now at stacksarmy.com. And we got the Stacks box coming. You're gonna get a lot more stuff in the box than you will if you just buy a single pre or a single BCAA. So make sure you go cop that Stacks box before they drop any day now. Labels are done. Let's go. Now they're in manufacturing stage right now. Then they're gonna ship them to me and then I'm gonna ship them to you. So guys, please don't email me. Please do not blow my DMs up. Where's my Stacks box? I ordered my supplements. It's, it's a pre-sale. When they get here, they get here. I appreciate your patience, all the love and support, guys. Just rock with your boy. We're going to get these subs out, and then we'll have all kinds of subs for y'all. Let's go. I appreciate each and every one of you guys always showing love. Make sure you follow the homie Big Eye. Follow the homie Stretch. Go follow the homie Hassan the Don. You know what I'm saying? Show love to all the Stacks Army guys. We're out here growing. We're changing the world, baby. One person at a time. That's all it takes. One thing that I, I learned is if you could just help out one person, you're doing something. So we're on my channel, we're changing thousands of people's lives, guys. We're helping people that didn't think they could overcome things that they're overcoming now, all just by watching me with my no excuses, with my no breaks motto. Let's go, baby. Also, the new merch is coming out soon. We're gonna be doing, uh, I wanna say this week, we're actually gonna be doing a photo shoot coming out with the new merch so y'all stay tuned as always if you haven't yet go cop that stacks army merch baby you ain't stacks army unless you rocking that stacks army merch let's go